This is Heart Rhythm TV and I am Julie Shea here with another episode of Advancing Allies. This is part two of our series on Allied Professional Publishing. Here with me today I have Carrie Harvey who is a advanced practice provider at the Methodist Physicians Cardiology EP Group in Memphis, Tennessee. And she's also the section editor for Heart Rhythm 02 for the Allied Professional. So welcome. Welcome. Carrie, Thank to you. our interview today. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the Heart Rhythm O2 Journal and what your role is as the section editor? Sure. Heart Rhythm O2 is an open access, uh, online only journal that's indexed in PubMed Central. And it's a companion uh, publication to Heart Rhythm Journal. Um, the focus of the journal is publications uh, that uh, reflect recent uh, technology mm -hmm. and research in EP and uh, cardiac arrhythmias. Um, the editor-in-chief is uh, Dr. Jean Poole okay. and she is also the founding uh, uh, editor and she and the staff are great to work with. Great, so tell me a little bit about your role as the uh, AP section editor. Right, so uh, the first thing that we did was create a specific category, manuscript category, for allied health professionals. And um, it's a not quite as rigorous as the, some of the main research uh, and design articles. Uh, the word count is a little bit less, but the topics are varied and can um, be anything from QI projects, mm -hmm. like process improvement, um, uh, practice improvement, uh, coding, billing, right. um, and that sort of thing. So uh, any clinical uh, relevance topic to EP is invited. Yep. That's great. I mean, there's so out of the pandemic, pandemic, so many different process changes came mm -hmm. um, that we're all doing things a little bit differently. So this is a great way to be able to disseminate that information. Exactly, and uh, being an open access journal, uh, is a great thing, and um, that means that anybody in the world can access these journal articles without a subscription fee. Okay. Um, so there is no fee, and that helps greatly in our dissemination. So there is a small uh, uh, author uh, fee, but we are working uh, with uh, Heart Rhythm to develop a scholarship program to offset that oh, fee. Nice. That's nice, yeah. that's great. So um, have you gotten submissions already? Uh, we have uh, one. Because this is fairly new, right? Yeah, it that is this very is, new. Uh, it started, just came out recently, yes. so mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. That's excellent. So um, what's involved with, in terms of, if someone has an idea and they want to submit it, what's kind of involved mm -hmm. in that process? Right. Well, the first thing they would need to do would be to reach out to me as a section editor for Allied Health Professional. And we can talk about their topic and maybe how we would need to frame it. Oh, great. Um, yeah. And then from then they would go uh, to the Heart Rhythm uh, Journal uh, O2 uh, website and click on Submit a, a Manuscript. And that will take you to the Elsevier uh, website where you would need to register as an author. And uh, there's also author guidelines that I highly recommend folks look at and it will uh, walk you through uh, the different manuscript categories and the allied health professional one is there as well. So uh, when you're ready to submit, you would need to submit a, uh, a cover letter to the Correct. editor in chief, uh, as well as an abstract and your manuscript. And any uh, figures and graphs and uh, images are, are highly uh, uh, recommended. And so it'll go through the uh, review process. It's peer reviewed. Nice. And you will typically get revisions. And um, those are a good thing because yeah. they uh, might be tedious, but your, your paper will be of much better quality. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, it sounds like a great um, venue for mm -hmm. new authors to get involved that you know making initial communication with you mm -hmm. getting some direction from there on developing uh, mm -hmm. their idea and then how to get the guidelines to know what specifics are needed mm -hmm. um, to be able to progress through the publication process. Exactly and we don't want this to be intimidating no. uh, we're here we have a lot of allied health professionals who are very uh, versed in writing and can help with the editing process if need be. Yep. 
because I know that HRS has a mentoring program, a mentorship mm -hmm. program for allied professionals. So right. again, another great resource for people that are interested in, in starting yes. with publication. That's right, and I'm a mentor and um, and uh, have done some work with my mentee in terms of oh, uh, working on abstracts and getting a, a accepted to presentations. So that's nice. very important. So nice. uh, we are here to mentor our allied health into doing research in QI and, and publishing. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much, Carrie, for your time this morning. And you know, I hope all of our allied professionals out there will consider uh, pu publishing, particularly if they've presented an abstract at this meeting, to write that up for submission. So thank you for your time. This is Julie Shea. This is Heart Rhythm TV. Please check us out on our YouTube cha channel and subscribe so that you can follow more allied professional YouTube Heart Rhythm videos.